Hey, what's up guys? And in this video, we're gonna be taking a brief look at the early 2015 13-inch MacBook Pro. Let's see if this laptop is right for you. Apple's early 2015 MacBook Pro is an incremental upgrade from last year's model, in typical Apple fashion. To the right we have the same USB 3.0 port, HDMI out to connect to a monitor, and SD card slot. On the left we have MagSafe 2 for fast charging, two Thunderbolt ports, a second USB 3.0 port, headphone jack, and two microphones. Opening up, we have the same Retina display we saw last year with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. I have the 13 inch model which has an exact screen size of 13.3 inches. The soft touch backlit keyboard remains, very tactile and easy to press as always, and lights up well in the dark. Booting up, the machine powers on very fast. The processor is a small bump up from last year's 2.6 GHz Intel Core i5 to a now 2.7 GHz Intel Core i5. Mind you, this is for the 13 inch model, 128 GB version. Out the box, it runs OS 10 Yosemite, 8 GB of RAM, but you can choose 16 GB. Intel's Iris graphics on board. I have the 128 GB model, but you can opt for 256 or 512 GB of SSD storage. I have an external hard drive and use this for travel purposes. However, 128GB on board will not be enough for the average user, so keep that in mind. The trackpad. You can now click the entire surface and with the new pressure sensitive force touch, by pressing down hard enough, you'll feel a vibration that emulates a click. This allows you to do certain things like rename folders, see folder information, picture preview, events, look up words, and scrub through video depending on the amount of pressure. It actually works well. Up top, there's a 720p FaceTime camera for those who enjoy taking pictures and video chatting with friends and family via FaceTime. On the subject of pictures, the retina display makes viewing photos remarkable and video playback is smooth and crisp. Right here you're viewing 4K video from YouTube. As you can see it performs very well. However the screen is quite reflective so you might want to crank up the brightness if you're using it outdoors. Nonetheless it makes for a great display when viewing content. Now I've been using this laptop to edit for a few weeks now and working with HD content I had zero lag and scrubbing through the timeline showed no hiccups. To put things into perspective, I went ahead and exported this project in Apple Pro Res, a high quality format, which gives me an estimated file size of 9.95 gigabytes, though the actual size is 8.34 gigabytes. So I ran a stopwatch to illustrate the amount of time it takes to process all the way through. And when it's done, the video will pop up. So that took 2 minutes and 4 seconds, which is great considering the given file size. I also ran a stopwatch copying that same 8GB file to a USB 3.0 hard drive. And it finished at exactly 1 minute and 20 seconds. Of course, this will be even faster using a Thunderbolt hard drive. And now copying from my hard drive back to my computer, we see a consistent result. So this gives you an idea of what to expect. Moving on to the battery. Now the battery doesn't last as long as I'd like it to. Apple says 10 hours, I'd say more like 6 hours. But that's probably because of editing. However, charging this laptop is really fast, going up about 20% in just 10 minutes. So it makes up for it. This laptop is quite a powerhouse, 
and can handle almost anything you throw at it. Keep in mind, I have the lower end model, so the maxed out version will give you that much more performance power. The changes aren't much, aside from the faster processor and the trackpad being the key feature with Force Touch. Alright guys, that wraps it up for a brief look at the 13-inch MacBook Pro 128GB version, early 2015 edition. I hope this video was insightful and made your buying decision easier. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys for watching.